You guys did very well in competition last year. Talk to me about that and what you're looking to do this year. Like, what have you been able to accomplish so far since you got since you've been a part of the team? And what are you looking to do this year? So um, last year um, we were we won um, we won Division One. So it's just like any other sport. Um, you have your different divisions, but we have to, we won Division One college nationals for UCH cheerleading. So basically, um, if you can think of all of those like Ole Miss, Ohio State. Alabama, Hawaii, Kentucky, UCF, um, and a lot of other schools that have like, um, that are in our division one program all compete. And basically we came out on top, you know, our routine, we had one drop both days, but it was a 50, 50 year last year. So basically both routines you performed went to 50% of your score and we wind up coming out on top. Um, that was a lot. And it meant a lot to us because last year during the COVID year, nationals was until april so right now we have it 10 days out but if it was like last year we wouldn't be competing for another anyway for march we like another three months at least so um it was um it was a lot of days hard work to kind of like now um right now like we um we're trying to do the same thing um we're competing um every day when we come in to practice we're doing two days uh, so basically what that means is at 24 seven. So, well, not 24 seven, but for seven days a week, you have practice. Um, mm-hmm. Today was, it's like a nine to five job. So today I started at nine um, is when I got there. I got to join at like nine. I got home at around um, 4.35, I think today. You get an hour lunch in between. You are, you are literally practicing in, in, all, like, basically all day. Um, it gets tiring. People get hurt. Um, I had hurt my leg for a period of time, so I couldn't be on traditional uh, mat anymore. Um, a lot happens. You get back injuries, spine, knees, um, ankles, shoulders, like, you name it. Um, just sincerely on the fact that you're practicing every day for at least six hours a day. You know, that's that's naturally going to happen. Your bodies are going to break down. But um, we all we do this all for the next what's going to happen in 10 days to hopefully come out on top again. Cause that feeling is like no other. I remember them saying they bring the final three onto the mat when they announce it. So it was us, Kentucky first, they announced, uh, first they announced who the final three made it. We heard we made the final three celebrated, gathered ourselves, went to the, um, arena. It's at, um, ESPN wild world of sports is really the UCA national. So you have experience playing there. Um, it was an HP arena. It was Kentucky, UCF, and USF. Um, they announced third, first, Kentucky. Um, mind you, Kentucky's won like for 15 years out of the last, um, maybe like 13 years it's been done. They, they, are, they are legit. So they get third. We're like, whoa, you know, what's going to happen? UCF the day before had like three, four drops, but to that, that day they hit zero. And when I say hit zero and cheer, that means basically every stunt you throw, um every tumbling pass you do um sticks everything hits um and you basically um it's almost like it's almost like um putting in for something and the minimum you can get is like a 90 basically because you did everything you could you hit now everything else is just up for interpretation so if that's in ucf they call second first of course they and since we're both um, University of South Florida, University of Central Florida. So when they're saying the name, we you don't know for a really good period of time. So like University of Central for a second. And we were like, ah. so I just remember like celebrating. And then um, after that, of course, they announced us and we won. And so I'm really chasing that feeling again right now. So I'm gonna have to wake up and do it all again tomorrow. We have arrival of 9.30, I think tomorrow though. So arrival of 9.30, but when she says arrival of 9.30, that means be there at 9.15 at the latest. Definitely. So. definitely on time is late, late yeah is you know it. early is on yep. time you already know how it goes definitely well first i i did i saw that i saw that last year that you guys won i was trying to remember i didn't know exactly that it was a national championship that's major if i was if i won a national championship everybody in the world would have known i'm i'm happy for you about that um i hope that all your hard work and everything pays off again 10 days out from the next national championship all you guys Got to do is just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. I'm sure y'all are well prepared. So I hope it goes in your favor again. That would be pretty awesome to two-peat. Not many people get a chance to even 
make it to tournaments for us. Like it's hard to make it to the NCAA tournament for basketball or football to make it to a bowl game, things like that. So the opportunity to go back to back, I hope you guys seize it because that would be amazing for sure. That would be crazy. I'd be super happy for you. Definitely.